Um, James Conn received an Academy Award nomination for his performance in The Godfather, which was on uh, all last week. Yeah. An Emmy nomination. Received an Emmy nomination. Nominate. <laughs> They give awards out, they call them Emmys, and uh, if you, he was nominated <laughs> for Brian's song, and his latest film is titled Another Man, Another Chance, which is, uh, I think is the title of the sketch we just did. <laughs> and that's going to be released next week. Would you welcome James Conn? I'm so happy to follow that sketch. That was great. You really know, enjoyed Santino, it. I've always liked you better than Michael. <laughs> I should have taken over the... F I watched the whole nine hours last week. You were great in that picture, I you know. know. See you later, Johnny. Clever. <laughs> huh, what, was, what the hell was that? I have no idea, John. I'm sitting here. We get, we get a certain element on Friday night here. That's, uh, <laughs> I you, think I'm one of them. <laughs> you never, you oh. never, uh, never trust a, uh, an audience that comes in a bus with chicken wire on the windows. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's, you know, you could be in some kind of trouble. No, I really meant it. That the Godfather, I'd forgotten how good the picture was. And when they took it and put it all in chronological order again, people could really follow the action from start to finish. It must have been exciting to work on that. Yeah, we had a lot of a lot of fun. I I, I missed it, uh, but uh, I know what he was trying to do. I don't know how successful it was. I thought it was very successful because you know they had a lot of flashbacks in the picture, and they just simply put it in in chronological order. So uh, you would you would have liked it. Am I keeping you up, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> I was so happy to see Ed change his jacket. Yeah, you, you said you were you just when I saw you when I got backstage to get get ready for the sketch. Uh, you said uh, you. Um, Oh, what was I going to say? There's something to Jim. I was going to say something to, to, yes. to Jim there about... Um, about you, Ed's jacket, probably. No, 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 but you were almost late getting out here. I was late getting out here. Not that, that's, almost. That's what you said to me back there, and I... Right. I said, that was, was, there, was there, right, right was back there, there before the sketch. Was there a story Ed's connected jacket. with that being late at all that our viewers might like to hear, Jim? Here it is. I was late getting here because uh, I got a late start. <laughs> You see, <clears throat> if I'd have left at 4.30, mm -hmm. then I'd have probably got here on time. quarter after five. But I left at five. Night and that, of course, made and it And then I uh, just kind of got here late, you know? <laughs> That'll happen. Why just a little you, interesting... Uh, you folks here who are watching the show may want to call your neighbors and tell them you may want to, to get the rest of this. <laughs> well, tell them that... that Tell him that great classic story I told you last week. Oh, you're going to do one of those on me, huh? Tell him, the, tell him that great funny anecdote that something. I told you last week. Say something. All right, tell me. All right, uh, let me, let's talk about rodeos. That's all I see about you. Uh, Jim? Yes. Oh, over here. I was just looking. I, I thought he passed away. Fred, he was, he, he was sitting there not moving a muscle. It was, the, uh, it's hard um, to tell sometimes. All right, I was reading uh, People magazine this week. Could have been last week, but I was reading it... Uh, <laughs> It's not, the time for reference is not important, uh, <laughs> but it showed you a rodeoing, a rodeoing. <laughs> oh, rodeoing? <laughs> well, when I say I rodeoing... I had to get him on a bad night, right. you know what I mean? Rodeoing, I guess. Is, that a, is there such a word as rodeoing? Well, what do you, what do you, you just said it. I guess there is a... No, but you are. You are uh, almost a professional. No. Oh, are well, you not? I am. I am a professional. <laughs> you are a professional. No, yeah, I, uh, I compete... Uh in the uh, professional rodeo cowboys. And you get paid for that? Only if I win. But that's, that's what I meant. You are a professional. You so I'm really not getting paid for it. I haven't been doing too much winning, uh, right. but uh, I try. Well, where did you learn? Right? Where did you take it up? You don't come from the Midwest. Isn't that something that's come from the Midwest no. and the South? Right. New York City. So you get arrested roping steers on Fifth Avenue. Yes. yes. <laughs> but it's a guy from New York to get into the rodeo business. Well, uh, I was doing a picture in uh, Nebraska, uh, Ogallala, Nebraska. Are you putting me on? Well, I know there's Ogallala, Nebraska. Yes, there you are. Named after the Ogallala Indians. That's one of the 40 people that live there. <laughs> and uh, I went on a branding. I was invited, invited to go along on a branding, and uh, it's just something that uh, I got caught up in. You know? and why didn't you go into branding? <laughs> I don't know. Even what that means, I'm just... Uh... I tried that. Uh, oh, did you? You know, what, a lot of people hollered and screamed. We're going to show you. <laughs> didn't care for it. We're going to show you some film in a little while. Maybe very soon. I hope. Uh, real real no, quick. No, that shows you what... Uh, what is it, Fred? We have to take a break now. We have to take a we station. We have to interrupt this. We have, what? 
We don't want to. We don't want to break the flow here. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Here's a. Uh, oh, oh, excuse me. Here's a guy who not only knows his way around a boxing ring, he knows his way around beer. Schlitz.